thank you for joining me. So back in February this year I received this kit through the post and it was from my very good friend Greg Riley. Now I did do a um, mail call uh, when I received the kit. I was a bit worried that I hadn't but then I found the video so phew. And Greg gave me this kit because he'd got the Meng uh, whip it and he was building that and so this was uh, surplus to requirements so he very kindly uh, sent it to me and I really do appreciate it. Well over the last, uh, has it been eight months it has, over the last eight months I've been tinkering with this kit. I thought I'd done some video footage of the build as it was progressing but I can't find it now so unfortunately we're just going to be jumping straight to the uh, finished result. Now somebody mentioned, uh, I think it was in the Panzer II video, that uh, I'm a modelling machine but really what's happening is that I'm just getting some time to pick up some of those builds that I've already uh, constructed a while back or started constructing and just finishing those off. Um, you know I'm not producing these particularly quickly um, so I just wanted to, I'm not like Charlie, for instance, who's you know practically every week is producing the kit, which is fantastic. So let me get the kit and uh, we'll have a look at it together. Okay, guys. So here it is. I'm having one or two technical difficulties, and I've had to move from where I just uh, filmed the uh, the front of the box. So here is the MHR um, Monte Livio scale whip it, and I've uh, finished. Uh, this particular one as uh, Firefly. Now you could also finish it as uh, Caesar 2. Um, you could also finish it as a, a German vehicle. Um, but as I say I've, uh, I've gone for Firefly. Um, the construction wasn't bad at all. Um, quite enjoyable, went together reasonably easy. The only issue was this complicated shape. Um, that was a bit of a, uh, one of those times when you wish you had three hands so you could hold two pieces together and then put a third one in whilst the glue was still set in or whatever. The decals didn't settle particularly well. There was quite a bit of silvering, even though they were on a, a semi-gloss uh, surface when put down and I was using the uh, Microset Microsol. Um, I even resorted to trying putting uh, puncture marks in the uh, in the decal and then um, trying to get to the Johnson's clear to seep into the hole but they weren't having it really. The paint I used for this was uh, Vallejo's Yellow Olive which is uh, um, 892. Uh, then when I put the sludge wash on, that darkens it down because it, it's all over the build and it's a black wash so it uh, darkens the paintwork. I took a lot of that off, um, just leaving it around the rivets and the hatches and such like and panel lines. And then I dry brushed the yellow olive back on. Then I did a, a lighter dry brush of um, yellow olive mixed with some flat yellow, um, just to just to highlight it a bit further in the in towards the centre of the panels. Um, the only other thing I did was I painted the tracks. I did paint the tracks with um, the mithril silver from Games Workshop. Now, as you can see, that probably wasn't very necessary because of um, I've just plastered them in like a mud mixture but uh, I, I had done that and then I'd also give them a sludge wash as well to pick out the rivets and so on but uh, as you can see it's all hidden under mud now. There are one or two places where to pop in through. And then the rust on the um, exhaust that was just the track rust from AK and then there was um, a dark rust from AK. What I tried to do there was I put the track rust on um, and it was quite liquid and then I, before it dried 
I put the uh, dark rust on and uh, so it kind of blended in a bit but um, it, it looks okay um, it's one of the techniques that I've got to try and get uh, more confident at um, rusting uh, bits of uh, tank up and so on and the red and white stripes they were obviously painted on I wasn't particularly bothered about how, ac um, how accurate they were, how straight they were. At the end of the day, I thought it would be a field um, application, and uh, and so you know, some some Tommy with a with a paintbrush and a pot of paint would have uh, put those on. So I'm quite pleased with the result. Um, there you can see Firefly on the back. I've, I've tried to get rid of some of the silvering by um, uh, dry brushing the yellow olive over the top of it so it gives it that uh, faded look but also as I say trying to get rid of some of the silvering um, but uh, I'm, I'm really really happy about uh, having this in my uh, my British collection um, I am I've sold some Games Workshop stuff on, on um, eBay and so I've got a bit of money in PayPal and I am sorely tempted to um, get the other MH 135th scale models um, the um, is it the male mark for the female and then you can get the um, tadpole as well which which was like an elongated mark four I think and it got a mortar on the back um, I, I really am tempted to get those because uh, as I say, I really enjoyed uh, this build. So that's uh, another one from the um, Drawer of Doom. Um, I've got some 172nd languishing in there and also a couple of 135th scale. Um, I don't know which one to pick out next. I think it will possibly be a 172nd. I've also still got, um, obviously, um, Peter Person's um, appreciation build to finish. Um, that's only that's not even fully constructed yet so that's something else I could jump on anyway I hope uh, you have a good evening and I'll catch up with you soon